Science and technology is a growing field in Pakistan and has played an important role in the country's development since its founding. Pakistan has a large pool of scientists, engineers, doctors, and technicians assuming an active role in science and technology. Liaquat Ali Khan, the first Prime Minister of Pakistan, in office the 15th of August 1947 to the 16th of October 1951, made various reforms to initiate improvement in higher education and scientific research. The real growth in science in Pakistan occurred after the establishment of the Higher Education Commission in 2002, which supported science in a big way and also became the major sponsor of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences under the leadership of Prof. Atta Yor Rahman FRS. The first IT policy and implementation strategy was approved under the leadership of Prof. Atta Yor Rahman FRS, then Federal Minister of Science and Technology, in August 2000 which laid the foundations of the development of this sector on the request of Prof. Atta Yor Rahman Intel initiated a nationwide program to train school teachers in information and communication technologies in March 2002 which has led to the training of 220,000 school teachers in 70 districts and cities across Pakistan. A 15-year tax holiday was approved on the recommendation of Prof. Atayor Rahman FRS which has resulted in growth of IT business from $30 million in 2001 to over $3 billion. The Pakistan Austria University of Applied Engineering is now being established in Haripur Hazra under the chairmanship of Prof. Atayor Rahman FRS in which students will get degrees from several Austrian universities chemistry remains the strongest subject in the country with the International Center for Chemical and Biological Sciences playing the lead role with the largest postgraduate research program in the country having about 600 students enrolled for PhD physics theoretical nuclear particle laser and quantum physics material science metallurgy engineering biology and mathematics are some of the other fields in which Pakistani scientists have contributed. From the 1960s and onwards, the Pakistani government made the development and advancement of science a national priority and showered top scientists with honors. While the government has made efforts to make science a part of national development, there have been criticisms of federal policies, such as the government's dissolution of the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan HEC, an administrative body that supervised research in science, in 2011. This attempted dissolution failed to materialize because of a Supreme Court of Pakistan decision on a petition filed by Prof. Atayor Rahman, former Federal Minister of Science and Technology and former founding chairman of the Higher Education Commission. Pakistani scientists have also won acclaim in mathematics and in several branches of physical science, notably theoretical and nuclear physics, chemistry, and astronomy. Professor Abdus Salam, a theoretical physicist won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1979, being the first and only Pakistani to date to have received the honor. Professor Atayor Rahman an organic chemist was elected as Fellow of Royal Society London in 2006 in recognition of his contributions in the field of natural products thereby becoming the first scientist from the Islamic world to receive this honor for work carried out within an Islamic country. The contributions of Prof. Atayor Rahman to uplift science and higher education in Pakistan were internationally acknowledged and a tribute paid to him in the world's leading science journal Nature that termed him as a force of nature. Technology is most highly developed in nuclear physics and explosives engineering, where the arms race with India convinced policy makers to set aside sufficient resources for research. Due to a program directed by Munir Ahmed Khan and the Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission PAEC, Pakistan is the seventh nation to have developed an atomic bomb, which the global intelligence community believes it had done by 1983 see Karana I, nine years after India see Pokhran I, Pakistan first publicly tested its devices see Chagai I and Chagai II on 28 and 30 May 1998, two weeks after India carried out its own tests see 
see Pokhran II. Space exploration was hastily developed. In 1990, Pakistan launched Badr 1 followed by Badr 2 in 2001. Since the 1980s, the space program dedicated itself to military technologies, space weapons program, and integrated missile systems, and maintains a strong program developed for military applications. Pakistan is an associate member of CERN, one of the few countries to obtain that status. Topic History The Scientific and Technological Research Division was established in 1964 for I, coordination and implementation of national science and technology policy, I, promotion and coordination of research and utilization of the results of research, I, development, production and utilization of nuclear energy, and I, v, coordination of utilization of scientific and technological manpower. The division was administratively responsible for National Science Council, the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, the Atomic Energy Commission and the Space and Upper Atmospheric Research Committee. The Ministry of Science and Technology has been functioning since 1972. It is the national focal point and enabling arm of Government of Pakistan for planning, coordinating and directing efforts, to initiate and launch scientific and technological programs and projects as per national agenda for sound and sustainable science and technology research base for the socio-economic development. From the areas of industrial development to renewable energy and rural development, the ministry suggests technological development for higher growth rates and to improve standards of living. Its principal focus is on building Pakistan's technological competence and developing a larger pool of human resources to reverse brain drain, and for integrating the existing technological infrastructure for strengthening of technology institutions, effective governance of S&TR and enhancing the capacity of indigenous innovation systems. State-controlled science. Unlike some Western countries, the majority of the research programs are conducted not at the institutions such as universities but at specially set up research facilities and institutes. These institutes are performed under the government's Ministry of Science that overlooks the development and promotion of science in the country, while others are performed under the Pakistan Academy of Sciences, other specialized academies and even the research arms of various government ministries. At first, the core of fundamental science was the Pakistan Academy of Sciences, originally set up in 1953 and moved from Karachi to Islamabad in 1964. The Pakistan Academy of Sciences has a large percentage of researchers in the natural sciences, particularly physics. From 1947 to 1971, the research was being conducted independently with no government influence. The High Tension Laboratories HTL at the Government College University, Lahore GCU was established by R. M. Chowdhury with funds given by the British government in the 1950s. In 1967, Professor Abdus Salam led the foundation of the Institute of Theoretical Physics ITP at the Quaid-e-Azam University, and the establishment of the Pakistan Institute of Nuclear Science and Technology and the Centre for Nuclear Studies, all were independently established by Pakistan's academic scientists with financial assistance provided by European countries. However, after Zulfikar Ali Bhutto became president, he took control of scientific research in 1972 as part of his intensified socialist reforms and policies. With advice taken from Dr. Mubashir Hassan, Bhutto established the Ministry of Science with Ishrat Hussain Usmani, a bureaucrat with a doctorate in atomic physics. During the 1950s and 1960s, both West Pakistan and East Pakistan had their own academies of science, with the East Pakistan relying on West Pakistan to allot the funds. Medical research is coordinated and funded by the Health Ministry and agricultural research is led by Agriculture Ministry and likewise, the research on environmental sciences is headed by the Environment Ministry. An aftermath of the 1971 Indo-Pakistan Winter War was that President Bhutto increased scientific funding by the government by more than 200%, mostly dedicated to military research and development. 
Bhutto, with the help of his science advisor Dr. Salam, gathered hundreds of Pakistani scientists working abroad to develop what became Pakistan's atom bomb. This crash program was directed at first by Dr. Abdus Salam until 1974, and then directed and led by Dr. Munir Ahmed Khan from 1974 until 1991. For the first time an effort was made by the government when Pakistan's citizens made advancements in nuclear physics, theoretical physics and mathematics. In the 1980s, General Muhammad Zia-ul-Haq radicalized science by enforcing pseudoscience, by his Muslim fundamentalists as administrators, in Pakistan's schools and universities. Zia-ul-Haq later promoted Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan to export the sensitive industrial military technologies to Libya, Iran, and North Korea. Because of government control, academic research in Pakistan remains highly classified and unknown to the international scientific community. There have been several failed attempts made by foreign powers to infiltrate the country's research facilities to learn how much research has progressed and how much clandestine knowledge has been gained by Pakistan's scientists. One of the notable cases was in the 1970s, when the Libyan intelligence made an unsuccessful attempt to gain knowledge on critical aspects of nuclear technology, and crucial mathematical fast neutron calculations in theoretical physics. It was thwarted by the ISI Directorate for Joint Intelligence Technical JIT. From the 1980s and onward, both Russian intelligence and the Central Intelligence Agency made several attempts to access Pakistan's research but because of the ISI, they were unable to gain any information. From the period 1980 to 2004, research in science fell short until General Pervez Musharraf established the Higher Education Commission which heightened the contribution of science and technology in Pakistan. The major boost to science in Pakistan occurred under the leadership of Prof. Atayur Rahman FRS as the founding chairman of the Higher Education Commission when about 11,000 students were sent to top universities abroad for PhD and postdoctoral training. This has resulted in the enormous increase in research output of Pakistan in impact factor journals from about 800 per year in the year 2000 to over 12,000 publications per year. This drew positive comments from Thomson Reuters about the sharp increase in highly cited papers in comparison to Brazil, Russia, India and China. Your research was undertaken by Pakistan's institutes in the field of natural sciences. In 2003, the Ministry of Science and Technology of the Government of Pakistan and the United States Department of State signed a comprehensive science and technology cooperation agreement that established a framework to increase cooperation in science, technology, engineering and education for mutual benefit and peaceful purposes between the science and education communities in both countries. In 2005, the United States Agency for International Development USAID joined with the Ministry of Science and Technology MOST and the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan to support the joint Pakistan-US Science and Technology Cooperation Program. Beginning in 2008, the U.S. Department of State joined USAID as U.S. co-sponsor of the program. This program, which is being implemented by the National Academy of Sciences on the U.S. side, is intended to increase the strength and breadth of cooperation and linkages between Pakistan scientists and institutions with counterparts in the United States. However, with unfavorable situations, research declined. In 2011, the government dissolved the HEC and the control of education was taken over by governmental ministries. Professor. Atayur Rahman FRS filed a petition in the Supreme Court of Pakistan against the government action. The Supreme Court decided in favor of the stand taken by Prof. Atayur Rahman, and the federal nature of the Higher Education Commission was preserved. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Scientific Research Institutions, Shri. A large part of research is conducted by science research institutes with SEMI controlled by the government. International Center for Chemical and Biological Sciences HEJ. Research Institute of Chemistry 
Dr. Panjwani Center for Molecular Medicine and Drug Research National Center for Physics National Institute for Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering Abdus Salam School of Mathematical Sciences Pu Center for High Energy Physics Atayur Rahman School of Applied Biosciences, NUST Institute of Space and Planetary Astrophysics National Engineering and Scientific Commission Pakistan Institute of Nuclear Science and Technology Institute of Space Technology Council of Scientific and Industrial Research Nuclear Institute for Agriculture and Biology Nuclear Institute for Food and Agriculture Technology Resource Mobilization Unit Federal Bureau of Statistics Mathematics Statistical Division Topic: Science Policy Topic National Science, Technology and Innovation Policy The Federal Ministry of Science and Technology has overseen the S&T sector since 1972. However, it was not until 2012 that Pakistan's first national science, technology and innovation policy was formulated. This was also the first time that the government had formally recognized innovation as being a long-term strategy for driving economic growth. The policy principally emphasizes the need for human resource development, endogenous technology development, technology transfer and greater international cooperation in research and development R&D. The policy was informed by the technology foresight exercise undertaken by the Pakistan Council for Science and Technology from 2009 onwards. By 2014, studies had been completed in 11 areas, agriculture, energy, ICTs, education, industry, environment, health, biotechnology, water, nanotechnology and electronics. Further foresight studies were planned on pharmaceuticals, microbiology, space technology, public health, sewage and sanitation, as well as higher education. Topic. National Science, Technology and Innovation Strategy Following the change of government in Islamabad after the May 2013 general election, the new Ministry of Science and Technology issued the draft National Science, Technology and Innovation Strategy 2014-2018, along with a request for comments from the public. This strategy has been mainstreamed into the government's long-term development plan, Vision 2025, a first for Pakistan. Topic investment in human resources and research The central pillar of the draft national science, technology and innovation strategy is human development. Although the pathway to implementation is not detailed, the new strategy fixes a target of raising Pakistan's gross domestic expenditure on R&D (GERD) from 0.29% (2013) to 0.5% of GDP by 2015, then to 1% of GDP by the end of the current government's 5-year term in 2018. The ambitious target of tripling the GERD GDP ratio in just seven years is a commendable expression of the government's resolve, but ambitious reforms will need to be implemented concurrently to achieve the desired outcome. Topic: Notable scientists. Topic ranking of Pakistani scientists by Pakistan Council for Science and Technology The Pakistan Council for Science and Technology has published a national ranking of the best scientists in the country. Topic Nobel Prize Abdus Salam Winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics 1979 for his electroweak theory that combines weak nuclear force and electromagnetic forces, Dr. Abdus Salam is the most highly decorated scientist of Pakistan, honored with most state awards including the Sitara-e-Pakistan Star of Pakistan in 1959. UNESCO Science Prize 
Atta Yor Rahman, winner of the UNESCO Science Prize for pioneering contributions in natural product chemistry in 1999. He is the first scientist from the Islamic world to have won this prize. Topic: <laughs> Fellows of Royal Society, London. Abdus Salam, Salamazuman Siddiqui, Atayur Rahman. Topic. Academician Chinese Academy of Sciences Atayur Rahman, elected foreign member in 2016. <inaudible> <inaudible> Friendship Award of China Atayur Rahman, awarded highest award for foreigners in 2014. Topic. Fellow Korean Academy of Sciences Atayur Rahman Topic. Gross Goldin Ehrenzeichen am Bond, Austria Atayur Rahman Topic. Khwarazmi Prize Atayur Rahman Iqbal Chowdhury Topic Fellow Chinese Chemical Society Atayur Rahman 2014 Topic Albert Einstein Award Riazuddin Winner of Einstein Award 2000 for his contribution in theoretical physics, notably the contribution in neutrinos. Mujahid Cameron, winner of Einstein Award 2001 for the leading research in quantum mechanics. Topic: <laughs> Einstein Professorship. Atta Yor Rahman, awarded by Chinese Academy of Sciences in recognition of his contributions in the field of natural product chemistry. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Highest National Order of Excellence. Scientists who are awarded the highest hierarchy of Pakistan, the Nishan e Imtiaz, Order of Excellence. Abdus Salam. Honored in 1979 for outstanding contribution in developing the Pakistan science. Ishfaqu Ahmed honored with Nishan e Imtiaz 1998 for his contribution in nuclear physics. Abdul Qadir Khan honored twice 1996 and 1999 for developing the gas centrifuge program. Atta Yor Rahman Honored in 2002 for his edge leading research in natural product chemistry. Sama Mubarakmand honored in 2003 for the contribution in space program and accelerator physics. Ishrat Hussain Usmani honored in 1998 for his enhancing the science in Pakistan. Munir Ahmed Khan honored in 2012 for his contribution to physics and nuclear engineering in Pakistan. Topic. Order of Crescent Scientists who are conferred with second highest honored, the Hilal i Imtiaz Order of Crescent. Munir Ahmed Khan honored in 1989 for building Pakistan's nuclear fuel cycle program. Tasneem M. Shah honored in 1998 for leading research in mathematics and pioneering and instrumental research computational fluid dynamics CFD at Dr. A. Q. Khan Research Laboratories KRL. Atta Yor Rahman, honored in 1998 for pioneering contributions in natural product chemistry Asghar Qadir — honored in 2008 for his international research in mathematics and pioneering research in mathematical science at the Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission Salamazuman Siddiqui 
Honored in 1980 for his leading research in medical chemistry. Topic: National Prizes. The most prestigious government prize awarded for achievements in science and technology is Nishan e Imtiaz, or in English Order of Excellence. While Hilal i Imtiaz, Satara i Imtiaz, and Tamga e Imtiaz occupies a unique role and importance in Pakistan's civil society. Atayur Rahman FRS is the only scientist of Pakistan to have won all these four civil awards. Achievements In 1961, international achievements first recorded in 1961 when Pakistan became the third Asian country and tenth in the world when the Raybar I a solid fuel expandable rocket was launched from Sonmani spaceport. The Raybar I was developed and launched under the leadership of Dr. W. J. M. Turovich, a Polish Pakistani scientist and then project director of this program. Since then, the program began taking flights which continued until the 1970s. A major breakthrough occurred in 1979, when the Nobel Prize Committee awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics to Abdus Salam, for formulating the electroweak theory—a theory that provides the basis of unification of weak nuclear force and electromagnetic force. In 1990, the Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission launched the first, and locally designed, communication satellite, Bada-1, from Sichang Satellite Launch Center of the People's Republic of China. With the launch, Pakistan became the first Muslim-majority country to have developed an artificial robotic satellite, and was the second South Asian state to have launched its satellite, second to India. One of the widely reported achievements was in 1998, when the country joined the Nuclear Club. In response to India's nuclear tests on the 11th of May and the 13th of May 1998, under codename Operation Shakti, in the long-constructed Pokhran Test Range (PTR), under Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, the Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission (PAEC) conducted five simultaneous tests at the Chagai Hills under codename Chagai I on the 28th of May 1998. PAEC carried out another test in the Karan Desert, under Chagai II, meaning it had tested six devices in under one week. With the testing of these atomic devices, Pakistan became the seventh nuclear power in the world, and the only Muslim-majority country to have mastered the technology. On 13 August 2011, SUPARCO launched its first indigenously developed geosynchronous satellite, Paxat-1R also from XLSC in China. In 2006 Professor Atayur Rahman was elected as Fellow of Royal Society London, thereby becoming the first scientist from the Muslim world to be so honoured in recognition of researches and contributions carried out within an Islamic country. He has major contributions to the development of science and technology as Chairman Higher Education Commission during 2002-2008 which have resulted in a significant increase in research publications in Pakistan from only about 800 research papers in impact factor journals in 2002 to over 11,000 publications in 2016 the quality of which has been recognized by Thomson Reuters. The International Center for Chemical and Biological Sciences at University of Karachi which has developed as a leading research center in the region under the leadership of Prof. Atayur Rahman FRS was designated as a UNESCO Center of Excellence in 2016. Prof. Atayur Rahman was awarded the High Civil Award of the Government of Austria the Grosses Goldines Ehrenzeichen am Bond in 2007 in recognition for his contributions for uplifting science in Pakistan, and the Government of China also honored him with the highest award for foreigners Friendship Award in recognition of his eminent contributions. The largest university of Malaysia, University Technologi Mara, established a research center entitled Dr. Atayur Rahman Research Institute of Natural Product Discovery", 
To honor this great Muslim scientist for uplifting science in Pakistan and in the Muslim world in his capacity as Coordinator General COMSTECH, a ministerial committee comprising 57 ministers of science and technology of the 57 OIC member countries. In 2017, a Chinese study published in Scientometrics journal revealed that Pakistan's research growth rate and time required to double the number of publications is superior than that of USA, China and India. In another landmark study undertaken by Thomson Reuters, highlighting the impact of the reforms introduced by Atayur Rahman FRS, it was revealed that the rate of growth of highly cited papers from Pakistan in a decade was even greater than that in Brazil, Russia, India or China. Topic information technology The rapid progress made by Pakistan in the IT and telecom sector during 2000–2002, under Professor Atayur Rahman FRS as Federal Minister, led to the spread of Internet from 29 cities in the year 2000 to 1000 cities, towns and villages by 2002, and the spread of fiber from 40 cities to 400 cities in this period. The first IT policy and implementation strategy was approved under the leadership of Prof. Atayur Rahman FRS, then Federal Minister of Science and Technology, in August 2000 which laid the foundations of the development of this sector the Internet prices were reduced sharply from $87,000 per month for a 2 MB line to only $3,000 per month and later to $90 per month. The mobile telephony boom also occurred under the leadership of Atayur Rahman, and it began by the drastic lowering of prices, bringing in of competition UFON, and changing the system so that the person receiving a call was no longer required to pay any charges. A satellite was placed in space Paxat at a cost of only $4 million. These changes in the IT infrastructure proved invaluable for the higher education sector. Pakistan Educational Research Network was set up in 2004 through which one of the finest digital libraries was established in universities. In 2002, few university libraries could subscribe to a handful of journals. Today every student in every public sector university has free access to over 20,000 international journals with back volumes and over 60,000 books from 250 international publishers. As of 2011, Pakistan has over 20 million Internet users and is ranked as one of the top countries that have registered a high growth rate in Internet penetration. Overall, it has the 15th largest population of Internet users in the world. In the fiscal year 2012-2013, the government of Pakistan aims to spend 4.6 billion rupees Rs, on information technology projects, with emphasis on e-government, human resource and infrastructure development. Pakistan's information technology industry has gone through a dramatic change, and the country has taken the lead in adopting some technologies while also setting an example for others in global best practices. Matters relating to the IT industry are overseen and regulated by the Ministry of Information Technology of the Government of Pakistan. The IT industry is regarded as a successful sector of Pakistan economically, even during the financial crisis. The Government of Pakistan has given numerous favors to IT investors in the country since the last decade, that resulted in the development of the IT sector. In the years 2003 to 2005 the country's IT exports saw a rise of about 50% and amounted a total of about US$48.5 million. The World Economic Forum, assessing the development of information and communication technology in the country ranked Pakistan 102nd among 144 countries in the Global Information Technology Report of 2012. Topic Golden Age of Science The 1960s and the 1970s period is regarded as the initial rise of Pakistan's science, which gained an international reputation in the different science communities of the world. During this period, scientists contributed to the fields of, particularly, natural product chemistry, theoretical, particle, mathematical, and nuclear physics, and other major and sub-fields of chemistry and physics. 
The research was preceded by such scientists as Riazuddin, Ishfaqu Ahmad, Salamazuman Siddiqui, Atayur Rahman, and Sama Mubaratmand. However, the major growth in scientific output occurred after the establishment of the Higher Education Commission, which was accompanied by a 60 fold increase in funding for science. The real growth of science in Pakistan occurred under the leadership of Prof. Atayur Rahman during 2000 to 2008, when he was Federal Minister of Science and Technology and later Chairman of the Higher Education Commission (HEC) with the status of Federal Minister. The chairperson of the Senate Standing Committee on Education announced the first six years of HEC under Prof. Atayur Rahman as Pakistan's Golden Period. Thomson Reuters, in an independent assessment of Pakistan's progress in international publications, has acknowledged that in the last decade there has been a fourfold increase in international publications and a tenfold growth in highly cited papers, statistics that were better than the BRIC countries. The remarkable transformation of science and higher education under the leadership of Prof. Atayur Rahman as Federal Minister of Science and Technology and later as Chairman of Higher Education Commission with status of a Federal Minister during the period 2000–2008 was applauded by many independent experts and he was called a «force of nature» in a review published in Nature. Abdus Salam, the first Pakistani winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics, was the father of physics research in Pakistan. Under the watchful direction of Salam, mathematicians and physicists tackled the greatest and outstanding problems in physics and mathematics. From 1960 to 1974, Salam was responsible for leading the research at its maximum point. This prompted the international recognition of Pakistani mathematicians and physicists, allowing them to conduct their research at CERN. Salam and his students Riazuddin, Fayyazuddin and others revolutionized particle and theoretical physics, are thought to be modern pioneers of particle physics at all aspect of it. Pure research was undertaken in quantum electrodynamics, quantum field theory, protonic decay and major fields in physics, were pioneered by Pakistan scientists. With the establishment of nuclear and neutron institutes in the country, Pakistan's mathematicians introduced complex mathematical applications to study and examine the behaviors of elements during the fission process. Salamazuman Siddiqui, Atayur Rahman and Iqbal Chowdhury are the pioneering personalities for studying the isolation of unique chemical compounds from the neem Azadiracta indica, Rauwulfia, Periwinkle Catharanthus roseus, Buxus papillosa and various other plants. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Higher education reforms. Topic. Reform 2002–2009 In 2002, the University Grants Commission was replaced by the Higher Education Commission HEC, which has an independent chairperson. The HEC was charged with reforming Pakistan's higher education system by introducing better financial incentives, increasing university enrollment and the number of PhD graduates, boosting foreign scholarships and research collaboration and providing all the major universities with state-of-the-art ICT facilities. In a series of reforms in 2002, the HEC instituted major upgrades for scientific laboratories, rehabilitating existing educational facilities Facilities, expanding research support and overseeing the development of one of the best digital libraries in the region. Seeking to meeting international standards, a quality assurance and accreditation process was also established. Some approximately 95% of students sent abroad for training returned, an unusually high result for a developing country. In response to improved salaries and working conditions at universities, as well as bonding and strict follow up by the Commission, Fulbright, and others. Within a limited time span, the HEC provided all universities with free, high speed Internet access to scientific literature, an upgrade of research equipment accessible across the country, and a program for the creation of new universities of science and technology, including science parks which attracted foreign investors. Topic. 
international praise for these reforms. Since the Higher Education Commission HEC reforms have been carried out in 2002, HEC has received praise from international higher education observers. Rahman, founding chairman of HEC, has received a number of international awards for the transformation of the higher education sector under his leadership. 25 German academic, Dr. Wolfgang Volter of Tübingen University in Germany overviewed the performance of HEC under the leadership of Rahman and described the reforms in HEC as, a miracle happened. After teaching and visiting in 15 universities of Pakistan, Volter wrote that the scenario of education, science and technology in Pakistan has changed dramatically, as never before in the history of the country. Twenty-five. The chairperson of the Senate Standing Committee on Education recently announced the first six years of HEC under Rahman as Pakistan's golden period in higher education. American academic professor Fred M. Hayward has also praised the reform process undertaken by Pakistan, admitting that, since 2002, a number of extraordinary changes have taken place. Hayward pointed are that, over the last six years almost 4,000 scholars have participated in PhD programs in Pakistan in which more than 600 students have studied in foreign PhD programs. The HEC's reforms were also applauded by the United Nations Commission on Science and Technology for Development UNCSTD, which reported that the progress made was breathtaking and has put Pakistan ahead of comparable countries in numerous aspects. The UNCSTD has closely monitored the development in Pakistan in the past years, coming to the conclusion that HEC's program initiated under the leadership of Rahman is a best practice example for developing countries aiming at building their human resources and establishing an innovative, technology based economy. According to an article published in the leading science journal Nature, Rahman's strong scientific background, enthusiasm for reform and impressive ability to secure cash made him a hit at home and abroad. It really was an anomaly that we had a person of that stature with that kind of backing. Atayur Rahman was a force of nature. Rahman has won four international awards for the revolutionary changes in the higher education sector brought in the HEC. Nature, a leading science journal, has also written a number of editorials and articles about the transformation brought about in Pakistan in the higher education sector under the HEC. In an article entitled, Pakistan Threat to Indian Science Published in the leading daily newspaper Hindustan Times, India, it has been reported that Professor C. N. R. Rao, chairman of the Indian Prime Minister's Scientific Advisory Council made a presentation to the Indian Prime Minister at the rapid progress made by Pakistan in the higher education sector under the leadership of Rahman, chairman, Higher Education Commission. It was reported that as a result of the reforms, Pakistan may soon join China in giving India serious competition in science. Quote dot, quote, science is a lucrative profession in Pakistan. It has tripled the salaries of its scientists in the last few years. <laughs> Decentralizing the governance of higher education In 2011-2012, the HEC found itself on the brink of dissolution in the face of the 18th Amendment to the Constitution, which devolved several governance functions to provincial governments, including that of higher education. It was only after the Supreme Court intervened in April 2011, in response to a petition from the former chair of the HEC, that the commission was spared from being divided up among the four provinces of Balakistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Punjab and Sindh. Notwithstanding this, the HEC's developmental budget, that spent on scholarships and faculty training, etc. was slashed by 37.8% in 2011-2012, from a peak of R22.5 billion circa $0.22 billion in 2009-2010 to 14 billion rupees circa $0.14 billion. 
The higher education sector continues to face an uncertain future, despite the marginal increase in developmental spending wrought by the new administration in Islamabad, 18.5 billion rupees circa $0.18 billion in the 2013-2014 budget. According to HEC statistics, the organization's budget as a percentage of national GDP has consistently fallen from the 2006–2007 peak of 0.33% to 0.19% in 2011–2012. In defiance of the Supreme Court ruling of April 2011, the Provincial Assembly of Sindh Province passed the unprecedented Sindh Higher Commission Act in 2013 creating Pakistan's first provincial higher education commission. In October 2014, Punjab province followed suit as part of a massive restructuring of its own higher education system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Effect of reforms on student numbers and academic output. Despite the turbulence caused by the legal battle being waged since the 2011 constitutional amendment discussed above, the number of degree-awarding institutions continues to grow throughout the country, both in the private and public sectors. University student roles have continued to rise, from 0.28 million in 2001 to 0.47 million in 2005 and more than 1.2 million in 2014. Just under half of universities are privately owned. Between 2002 and 2009, the HEC increased the number of PhD graduates to 6,000 per year and in provided up to 11,000 scholarships for study abroad. The number of Pakistani publications recorded in Thomson Reuters Web of Science Science Citation Index expanded leapt from 714 to 3,614 over the same period then to 6,778 by 2014. This progress in scientific productivity appears to be due to the momentum generated by the larger numbers of faculty and student scholarships for study abroad, as well as the swelling ranks of PhD graduates. Critics argue that the rapid, massive increase in numbers has compromised quality, a claim supported by the stagnation of Pakistani universities in global education rankings by 2009. Topic. Challenges Pakistan has been known internationally for some of its major achievements in science and technology such as successful development of media and military technologies and a growing base of doctors and engineers, as well as its new influx of software engineers who have been actively contributing to Pakistan's potential in the information technology industry. Due to present situation in Pakistan, around 3,000 Pakistani doctors emigrate to Western economies in search of suitable employment opportunities and hence contribute intellectually to the health sector of developed countries and at the same time leaving the effects of a brain drain in Pakistan. Despite some progressive scientific achievements, Pervez Hudboy published a report on scientific output in Pakistan in which he pointed out that research and scientific activities are significantly lower than many. Many other developing countries Hoodboy cites that Pakistan has produces fewer papers than neighboring India. The contentions of Hoodboy have been strongly refuted by neutral international experts who have praised the tremendous increase in research output from Pakistan after the establishment of the Higher Education Commission in 2002. In a report published by Thomson Reuters in 2016, it has been concluded that the rate of increase of highly cited papers in international journals from Pakistan is higher than that from Brazil, Russia, India or China. Also, in November 2017, a Chinese study published in Scientometrics journal revealed that Pakistan's research growth rate and time required to double the number of publications is superior than that of USA, China and India.
Topic Science Community of Pakistan NUST Science Society Pakistan Mathematical Society Pakistan Agricultural Research Council Pakistan Academy of Sciences Pakistan Institute of Physics Pakistan Astrophysicists Society Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission Pakistan Atomic Scientists Society Pakistan Nuclear Society National Information and Communication Technologies Research and Development Funds Pakistan Science Foundation Department of Pakistan Survey Pakistan Geoengineering and Geological Survey Pakistan Cave Research and Caving Federation Pakistan Physical Society Pakistan Optical Society Khwarizmi Science Society Pakistan Science Club Ghulam Ishak Khan Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto Institute of Science and Technology Pakistan Institute of Nuclear Science and Technology National Institute of Food Science and Technology Ustad Institute of Science and Technology Abbottabad Royal Institute of Science and Technology Karachi Gandhara Institute of Science and Technology Sukkar Institute of Science and Technology Bright Institute of Science and Technology Peshawar Pakistan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology See also List of Pakistani inventions and discoveries Economy of Pakistan Topic Source This article incorporates text from a free content work licensed under CC by SA Ego 3.0 UNESCO Science Report towards 2030 UNESCO UNESCO Publishing To learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles Please see Wikipedia, adding open license text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use.